Okay, so the TLDR version is the crank power comes in here from the cranks, obviously. This is sort of the input shaft. There's a torque and speed sensor here. This is like a Hall effect sensor. It just counts the teeth on this wheel to know the cadence. And there's a deflective element, like a compliant element, beside the input shaft, and then measuring the torque by displacement with a magnetic flux difference. Uh, and that, they say, is proprietary, but that's in there. This part is the gear actuation motor. This is just a really simple, cheap, brushed motor. And then that acts on a little gear set down here. And there's a camshaft, I think, running from here all the way through sort of what I call the output shaft. And that camshaft, I'll drop in a little clip of that now, it's got a number of pulls which pull in to select the gears, not out. And they do that because it's easier to pull the pull in than spring it out to engage the gear when there's load on it. This is the output shaft and it goes back into the cranks. The motor assist is a 48 volt DC motor, which is very, very similar to what you'd see off the shelf in automotive or robotics. They haven't modified it. Even the windings are the same. That's what I asked them. The PCB design is here. It's a three-phase DC motor. Here, here, here on these pins. And then the pinion gear from that motor is a tiny little worm drive. Yeah, you can't see it, it's a bit dark. And then that's about seven to one uh, gear reduction to this gear. And then comes in, the assistance comes in here. And that all goes back into the cranks, into the chain, into the back wheel. And that's how you get the pedal assist. That is the TLDR version. It's still one minute 50. That is the TLDR version. That's still one minute 50 of junk but someone out there might find it interesting. This is kind of up my street because of robot gearboxes and that's my thing. And uh, yeah, seriously impressive piece of technology, all on display, all on display, all on show, unlike classified, and they wouldn't let us have a tear down of their hub, but we're gonna work on that. We asked them if we could get, I say we, I'm talking about me and Hambini. Hambini is the one with the beef with them, um, but they wouldn't give us a tear down. And I said, what about a tear down with all the electronics removed? So the gear selection, so the gear selection actuator in the classified hub is what they're really cagey about. And I said, "Well, just send us the planetary, and uh, hopefully we can get our hands on that." But this is the Pinion E112S motor and gearbox unit, and it's seriously impressive. Well, hopefully, I'm going to go outside and give it a ride because um, there's loads of demo bikes outside with that on.